What's up, everybody? <gasps> it's your boy Uchi, and um, back again. Once again, how y'all doing? doing today? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Uchi. We got whopping episode 47. One of my favorite numbers of all time. It's an internet joke if you guys have been watching my videos and wondering why does he always point out the number 47 for? Well, I'll tell y'all in due time. Until then, we have the only weapon here today. It's been getting real in Black Clover, and I know that I'm excited as the next person. Black Clover's been picking up, and with all the good news, there comes bad. Black Clover is ending soon, as far as the anime for season one goes. We don't know when and if season two will happen, which I'm sure it will because it's definitely popular. It's popular enough to get multiple dubs, because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but they actually have a Spanish and Portuguese dub. And in other news, I guess, will be going to Japan very soon, so hopefully you guys will be tuning into all the vlogs and all the content that I have to provide for you guys for the next, like, week and a half or so while I'm out there. So if you're looking for an episode 48 reaction, or a My Hero, or an Attack on Titan, unfortunately, it ain't gonna happen. So I hope you guys understand, but until then, let's get it. I figured I'd let my hair out because I had it up all day, so, you know, need to let it breathe. I'm sorry it's a mess. This freaking guy developed a third eye. He's like OD, this dude. Oh, God. Seke, please. Damn, everyone's bugging out. This dude's got some serious mana. Noel say he looks like one of those freaking demons or evil things from a fairy tale her grandma used to freaking tell her about. Oh, wow. So she's saying that he looks like the demon that the first Wizard King took out. I think this is going to set up for a very good section in this part. Mind you, this is like all build up so far from not even build up, but this is basically all recap from last week so far. Ooh, do you hear that? Wow, they did that in conjunction with like the opening themes theme. Like not like the actual theme song, like not this, but I'm talking about like the Yingenwa, like that part. That was pretty cool, I liked that. It seemed a little long though, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, he's trying to help them, but it looks like he got intercepted. My God, this dude got some crazy spatial magic, different dimension, blah, blah, blah. Man, that dude's creep. This dude just shooting needles out of his hands. I want to see what she does, though. So far, it looks like she's just got some purple spider webs, strings or something. Wow, those are, like, emitting some crazy sound waves right now. What, what'd she do? Did she, like, tie him up? Wow, she tied his freaking ankles, his wrists. How the hell did she do that? Whoa. Yo, she's making him drain his own magic with his own ability. Now, how's that for a taste of your own medicine? That, that must taste like... Damn, that was crazy. <laughs> is she healing him? Yo, honestly, I do wonder what Asa's about to do against this guy. Veto is literally one of the strongest in the Midnight Sun. Like, he's part of the third eye. Like, they're more powerful than the damn leader. Hmm. <laughs> He said, don't get cocky just because you have another eye. I mean, hey, Asta, he can see a lot more than you can. Asta is inspiring. He said no matter what, he's not going to give up on his dream, even if he is a monster. Not giving up is his weapon, but sometimes a weapon can be very dangerous. Meanwhile, this dude's about to be like, oh, I'm just going to show you what despair is. There's been a lot of talk so far in this episode, I will say. What's he doing? No. Is he just trying to end them while they're down? Nah, we, we straight. Drunk lady finally serving her purpose. Wow, she tied him up. Okay, so her name is Vanessa. Maybe she should have passed out drunk. Okay. She got inspired by Asta not giving up, so that's why she's here. Whoa! Who reflected it? Okay. Bet. Finral. Yeah, man, this dude was hiding the whole time. I was wondering when he was gonna freaking do something. Yeah, it's too late now. Don't be regretting it. Finral the wuss. Oh, yeah, he's a pretender, all right. Uh, uh, if they get out of it alive, she'll give him a hug. And offered to cry in her boobs. And now this man's going Ultra Instinct. Okay, I guess. I guess we're going that route. Are they... I don't think they're actually going to really fight much in, there's, in this episode. This It feels like it's about to end right now. Damn, they're really trying to elongate this until, like, 
the end. Man, that sucks, man. I, I'm not even gonna react next week. All right, you know what? At least I'll try to get some like like a review out. Like I'll watch it out there in Japan, and then I'll give you guys my thoughts. Like it'll just purely review. Wait a second. Oh, we getting some action. All right, let's go. <laughs> wow, so that's really good. So he has good support. He's got Finral to basically get his magic and reflect it back at him. So Asta can go in and try to attack him with his anti-magic sword. Ooh! Oh, that's so sick. That spatial magic is so good. Oh my god, and e even the webs, the threads are redirecting his trajectory, throwing this dude off completely. Wow, what a combo. Okay, this is really sick. I like this a lot. Get him. Oh, cut this boy! Yo! All right, all right, all right. They made up for it at the end right there. So basically, this episode, for the majority, felt like it was just more build-up and more build-up and more build-up. There was a lot of conversation. There was a lot of reference to previous episodes, to previous events, and it was just a lot of dialogue. Just for the most part, it was dialogue heavy. And now Asta has his new three-man squad. He's got all the coverage, more than Geico, than you could ever ask for, okay? This this man literally got someone to redirect him, literally has someone to put him or whatever projectiles are coming his way through spatial magic to just give him the perfect opportunity to attack at the best possible angle. I was about to put in this work with the help of his friends, man. This is why the Black Bulls are the best. Like, they, ha they have all of the misfits, yes, but it's the misfits that are making this team seem more perfect and well meshed together than any of the other teams that we've seen so far. Black Clover is godlike, and again, if you are sleeping on it, wake your ass up. All right. So are we getting a petite Clover? All right. I just realized Seke actually didn't do anything in this episode. I thought he was about to die. What the hell? What? Why? <laughs> he said that was service magic. I can see where the service part came from. My God. That was definitely hella risque for being a damn petite clover. I can't even... Well, I mean, it's not like they really showed much in this preview anyway, but damn, that was OD. Well, guys, there you have it. This was this week's episode of Black Clover Reaction Review. More review than reaction, of course. And if you guys are enjoying it, please let me know in the comments. Let me know what you guys thought about this week's episode in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the Discord, especially in Discord. And make sure to follow me on Instagram because I'm trying to get my follower count up to 1,000. And I'll be posting a lot of my trip from Japan. So I definitely expect a bunch of good stuff from there. And if you're supporting the channel, supporting the boy, and all things to come to the channel, then please consider checking out my Patreon and being a patron today. And if you didn't already know, now you know your boy is sponsored by Funimation. So go ahead and go and click the link in my description so you can make yourself a free Funimation now account so you can support anime the legal, the free, and the right way. I'll see y'all next time. Jenna.